just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop around the 34-yard line. So the quarterback scrambles for about four yards on the play. Six-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And he's hit immediately. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Tackle at the 33. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That makes it first and ten. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Up the middle. They'll bring him down at about the five-yard line. He gets another set of downs, and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. Touchdown. That was a well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he adds the extra point. A six-play, 64-yard drive, and the result, seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. So the score now, 7-0. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Houston's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with the stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Going to go across the middle, caught, and down he goes at the 43. Tackle made right around the 
44-yard line. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Here comes the pressure. He wants it all. And it's picked off. It's the safety. When he was facing a big pass rush, the ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. From their own 35-yard line. It's first down. Houston up seven points. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Brought down right around the 48-yard line. Hit out of bounds at the 44 yard line. That makes it second and six. He's scrambling. He's taken down at the 33 yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Nice run up the middle. That'll bring up second and three. Throws it, watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's taken down around the 17-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes which is a truly underrated quality these days. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Houston is up by a touchdown. And he's tackled around the three-yard line. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Houston's looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ballgame. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did in their last drive, which ended with a turnover. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. He makes his way out to about the 35. Fires that quickly, incomplete. 
This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Makes it to the 44. Side after a nice pickup. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes and he was able to get through for a loss. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 45 yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. He heaves it deep. Tipped away. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. the corner and he shoved out of bounds at the 29 the Cougars really could have uh, overlooked this team today I think very easily but they haven't done that so far no you can't take anybody too lightly and they've obviously not done that they come out of the gate today and really put a lot of points up on the board the offense will take the field and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball they were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown he's tackled at the 38 They bring the quarterback down. Third and nine. Ball on the thirty. He wants it all going long. Excellent open field tackle. So at the end of one, Houston in front, 14 0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. The stop at the 13 yard line. Steps out of bounds right around the 10 yard line. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That's a great tackle at the three-yard line. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the three-yard line. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Scrambling around. He gets sacked on the play. It's the ninth play of the drive. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He 
He's out of bounds at about the three-yard line. That's a three-yard pickup. This junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. So it's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. Houston is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. No matter how much people want to talk about points and offense, I still think that the best offense is a great defense. When you put a zero up there, it makes it pretty easy on your own offense to go out there and win the game. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. He fights forward to about the 26. to the 35-yard line. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Second down and 12. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Cougars quarterback went down with that injury earlier. The bad news is it sounds like he's not going to be able to get back in this game. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That's a loss of two yards on the play. Third down. So that sack leaves them a little ways to go here. It's third down and 13. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He lets it fly at the 30. Tackle at about the 27-yard line. The offense caught him flat-footed to convert that third and long. You can tell by the coach's reaction that that is a huge disappointment. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. He scrambled. They'll make the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Second down and 11. Ball on the 28-yard line. Bounds right around the 22 yard line. Looks to his receiver, first down. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Scrambled and maybe picked up a yard there. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Touchdown, Rice! And he tacks on the extra point. An 11-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. The score now, 17-7. Rice is ready to kick it away. He just drills this one. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Houston's been playing like a well-oiled machine in this first half. And Kirk, are we going to see more of the same in the second? Well, I think as long as they can maintain the proper frame of mind, I think they've got a great shot to be able to pull away and win this game decisively. But the challenge for them will be listening to their coaches at halftime and continuing to play with that same aggressive attitude that they played with in the first half. Throws it in a hurry. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 40. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. From their own 40-yard line. First down. a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And they get the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. He's brought down in the open field. Quick throw. That makes it first and ten. He's going to try and scramble. And now the ball is loose. The offense falls on it. Second and five. Ball on the 37-yard line. Pressured and brought down. That makes four sacks today. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. Houston's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Here comes the pressure. Steps up into the pocket, and they've got it. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. yard line. Big stop by the defense. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense and right now it's really paying off. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50. This one's going deep to the end zone. Missed him. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. Tackles him hard at the 42-yard line. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks. 
or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. He goes downtown. Doesn't get there. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Cougars with a 10-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. No impressive rushing numbers in the first half. Both teams continued to try to establish the run. They were very stubborn about it, though neither one was very successful. But you got the sense at times that it was a little predictable that maybe the defense knew exactly what was coming every time. The run game is extremely important. It's important because it's body blows to a defense and you loosen them up, I think, later in the game. It opens it up to play action, but that doesn't mean that your script goes first and ten, I have to run the football. Mix it up, keep them off balance, keep the defense guessing. You've seen across college football, the teams with the most balance seems to be the most successful offenses. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. For Rice, their pass rush has really been impressive today, Kirk. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. And because of all their problems at the line, this offense is having a difficult time moving the ball. Well, when your overall average is less than four yards of play, that's the definition of struggling. This defense has got to keep the pressure on. They don't want to allow another score. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Throws falling back and got his man. With the reception, gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Throws it out right to the running back. From their own 27-yard line, it's third down. And he just gets rid of it. Nothing clicking there. Let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next series. It to the 48 yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He steps out at the 49 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Now he's scrambling. Dives for extra yardage. Run left side. He gets out to about the 35 yard line. some time quarterback's gonna run it and he's got room to work he's taken down at the 20-yard line Woo! 
Gets it out quickly. And he's tackled right away. Breaks one and scores. He kept it himself and created the whole thing with his feet. Boy, was that fun to watch or what? Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he hits the PAT. It was a six-play, 52-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. So the score now, 17-14. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. Rice is not going to back down from anybody, Herbie, I guess, at least not today. No, not today. They've played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. Houston has a three-point lead. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. The ball just sailed on him, and he knows it. He'll get it next time. From their own 16-yard line, it's second down. And he's taken down at the 29. Quick throw out to the receiver. Brought down to the 35-yard line. Scrambling around. He's tackled at the 34. And the defensive end comes up with a big play. Boy, he's quick as a cat, no question. He got tremendous penetration and was able to wrap him up for a loss there. Brought down to the 37 yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Tackle made right around the 34. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. Second and 13. Ball on their own 34. Mike's 50. Mike's 50. Let's go, D. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And they make the stop at the 41. Complete. He's got room. He's at the 40, and he's tackled right around the 36-yard line. Nice run there. Strike to his receiver, no good. Third down again. He's scrambling. Tackle around the 27 yard line.
You don't need three guesses to figure out what they're going to run right here on fourth and short. They go with a toss. Makes it to the 17. The 10 gets out to around the 6. On the pass, touchdown. A nice play as the offense gets it through the air. Yeah, they've had some success in their short passing game, so they felt confident they could make that play work down inside the 10. makes the PAT. So a nine-play, 62-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run in the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 21-17. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. The Owls look very impressive in the first half, building that nice lead. But, man, you talk about a different story here in the third. Well, they've just been going through the motions. And, and this is where you find out what kind of leadership you have as an offense because things have been sluggish. Who's going to step up now and make a play for it? This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Brought down in the open field. Illegal touching. Offense. You've got to be careful to avoid these. Down. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So it's second down and 15 after the penalty. Let's go! Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. They'll bring him down at about the 25-yard line. He was never able to get ahead of Steve Carey. He's at midfield. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. So with one quarter remaining, the Owls lead 21-17. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Rice holds a four-point lead. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That might have actually been a situation where he should have kept it. The back didn't have any room to run. From the 36-yard line, second down. He fights forward to about the 33. Quick out to his receiver. And down he goes at about the 11. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Touchdown, Owls.
converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Five wide. And he's hit immediately. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. That makes it second and two. He's taken down at the 42. He's going to try and scramble. And he's taken down around the 46 yard line. That makes it second and six. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. Right down at the 40 yard line. First down. And he is drilled at the 43. That is a loss of three yards. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 43 yard line, second down. And here's a quick throw. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Now that's how you run a corner route. He exploded out of his cut and beat the man coverage for a new set of downs. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. Inside the 10, and now he's got room to run. What a play, and that is first and goal. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brent, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. Just under three to go in regulation. Touchdown, Cougars. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He scrambled. And they won't get the two. An eight-play, 75-yard drive. And they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The Owls are on a roll right now, an absolute roll. 21 straight points, and the defense has no answer for them. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He's out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. scrambling very good tackle in space now he tries to buy some time he's tackled at the 45 yard line that brings us second and one
And he throws it away. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Just under two minutes in the game. Gets to about the 47-yard line. I think the defense put everything into that sequence of plays, and for the offense to come up with a first down really is demoralizing for the defense. He's got the corner. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He takes it right side for a good game. Well, the execution of this offense has been on display here in this drive. They know what they needed to do, and that's pick up the first down, work the clock, and finish this game off. And with that first down, they may have done it. He might have a chance. Makes it out to about the 29. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. I got you. Oh, Mike Kizzy, Mike Kizzy. And he hits him hard at the 28. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee. It's the 11th play of the drive. A great game here today in a tight one. 28-23, Owl. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Rice came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.